so Stephen, congrats on paint. I thought the movie was really funny, and uh, thanks. All all the scenes with you and Owen Wilson are just hilarious, and he's such a pro. And I, I feel like his career speaks for himself to an extent. But what really makes him a great comedic scene partner for you to work off of? I think uh, in a lot of comedy, less is more, and. Uh, uh, Owen goes to the very minimalist place as an actor in this role specifically because it's such a, a soft-spoken character, you know, based on Bob Ross. And the fact that he does almost nothing, <laughs> almost nothing, he's so low-key, that that's hysterical in itself. And then I think the script is pretty good. And uh, so those two things together make Owen just fantastic in this role. And the fact that... Uh, his hair is a separate character. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, the hair is great. And what really impressed me about the script was that, you know, the focus is on this character, Carl, but the supporting cast all have their own arcs and have their own little stories to tell. How great was it that, you know, you're not just in a few scenes and stealing some humorous moments, but you actually have some character development throughout the, the movie. Yeah, very much so. Uh, it's an ensemble piece all the way through the movie, but as you say, each character has a backstory that doesn't happen in a lot of films. That you and so you care more about the char characters because they have a backstory. You you want to know what happens with them, uh, and this is an a, astonishing bunch of uh, female uh, actors in this in this movie. They are so so good. I mean, I've been a huge fan of Michaela's and Wendy's for. A long time but uh everybody in the film i thought was really well cast and that's a tribute to brit and the writing yeah and uh your character is so fun uh tony he is running this local access station that's struggling <laughs> and he's not really the most like adept boss but and he doesn't want to be about? in that job really he doesn't <laughs> want to do that job he's not suited for that job He's a guy that uh, probably just wanted to be in production and way behind the camera all the time, but got stuck into a place that he probably shouldn't be, as you can tell when he tries to paint on camera. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great scene. And, um, you know, Brett did such a great job directing and writing this. What impressed you the most about working with him and seeing, uh, you know, how he is on set? Well, it's great. I, I've worked with a few first-time directors uh, and uh, on some big movies and on some small ones. And what's nice about working with Britt is that he, as the director, was also the writer. So you always had a writer on set the whole time you were there. We, we reworked scenes uh, and had different dialogue on the day when we decided to shoot. So you have the writer right there in the room to help you uh, achieve what you wanted to do in that scene. And that was, that was a huge deal. Uh, and the fact that he was a first time director is, it wasn't a big deal because he's had this script for 13 years wanting to do this thing. So he was incredibly familiar with it and, you know, did a great job and put together a fantastic team. Uh, you've been so great on Barry, and with that show coming to an end, I was curious what your sort of reflections are of having such a key role in such a critically acclaimed show, and I, I think it's great to see it kind of like not stick around for too long or overstay its welcome, you know, it's been quality the whole way through. Thank you, I agree with you, it's, it, you, you get very few projects where you're extreme, extremely proud to be on them, news radio was one for me, uh king of the hill it was one for me and i think this one really stands out uh because of the superlative acting in it but uh bill Hader's writing producing and the fact that he directed all nine episodes of this last or all eight episodes of this last season is is truly his vision so i think everybody uh, what makes it so good is everybody's on the same page and you have one one vision of what's going to happen in this season and it's pretty amazing and then my last question for you uh you know you mentioned king of the hill that revival is coming up how exciting is it to get to work with mike judge again oh my goodness mike 
Well, you know, I'm, I have any, the reason I have any kind of recognition is because of Mike Judge, you know, uh, office space kind of put my face in front of a lot of people. Um, uh, obviously, King of the Hill doesn't because it's just a voice, but it's, it's something people, I mean, I've been recognized by my voice as well. So Mike Judge is, has made a lot of my career and I am thrilled to be able to work with him again. I'm also working with him on uh, another project, another animation project that's coming up. I think you're going to love. Uh, but just, just, to, just to be around all those people who were a family for the 13 years we did the show. I mean, we saw kids being born, marriages, divorces, deaths, and births. Uh, and it'll be lovely to uh, get back together with them. <laughs>